Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and what we've got here is the OCZ Technology Vector Solid State Drive. Now this is the very latest from OCZ Technology, 256 gigabytes, although it does come in other capacities, SATA 3 connection, MLC flash memory, Indilinks infused, trim support, and it also comes with a 3.5 inch SSD adapter plus Acronis True Image HD software. Now I personally won't be using the Acronis software because this is destined for a Mac Mini SSD upgrade which I'm going to be showing you in a short while with before and after benchmarks on the 2012 Mac Mini. Little look around the back, this is just some information about the SSD and let's get this unpacked. So we will just slice through here. I absolutely love doing these upgrades because the actual performance difference when going from a hard drive or a conventional hard drive drive with moving parts to something like an SSD is absolutely amazing. You will really, really notice the performance difference. So let's just take this uh, top section of the packaging off and we will see what this vector drive looks like. Big, big thank you to OCZ Technology for sending me this out to review as well. I do absolutely love their products. And uh, not only are they great for improving performance, but also the actual uh, uh, noise level that your computer then emits from moving from a moving part hard drive to solid state drive is unbelievable as well. So just on the back of the packaging here, we've got sort of some foam packaging. This is the three and a half inch to two and a half inch adapter. So if you were putting this in a desktop machine, you'd mount the SSD to this and then use these side holes to mount this into your sort of PC or Mac Pro case. And then background onto this side, we have got some information about the drive. And we have also got some mounting screws just here. So little tiny mounting screws. And then we've got the drive itself. And as I say, this is available in all different capacities. This just happens to be the 256 gigabyte model. And we have got mounting holes on the side here, clear on this side, clear on this, uh, sorry, mounting screws on this side, obviously, as well. Then we've got the SATA 3 connection on there. And then a really nice construction and a nice design on the front. So this is the Vector Solid State Drive. Let's move on to the Mac Mini and give you a look at some comparative benchmarks. So in this section of the video, I'm not going to show you the actual installation of the solid state drive. There are plenty of these step-by-step -step instruction videos on YouTube, and I'll leave a link to a good one in the video description. The first thing I do is pop into Disk Utility, select the Macintosh hard drive and repair permissions. Next step is to pop the SSD into my Freecom dock, and this allows me to uh, format the SSD first and foremost and again I do this in disk utility and then the next step is to make a clone of what's on the internal hard drive on my Mac Mini and for this I use super duper I select a Macintosh hard drive as the source and Macintosh SSD as the destination and then click copy now and this creates an exact duplicate of what's already installed on the Mac Mini so that I can then do an easy swap over from one drive to the other now we move on to taking a look at a benchmark. This is Geekbench before the installation and a respectable score of 12,279. And now we're going to look at the benchmark score after the SSD has been installed. This shouldn't have made much difference, but it has in fact taken the Geekbench score up to 12,701. Now where the big difference will really show is in disk speed test. This is the write and read speeds, with the write speed coming in at 90.6 megabytes per second and 95.1 megabytes per second read speed, and that's with the 3.5 inch hard drive. Once the SSD is installed, we've got an absolute massive transformation. The write speeds have gone up to 496.2 megabytes per second, and the read speeds right off the scale at 505.1 megabytes per second. This has just totally transformed the way the Mac Mini actually performs with regards to launching applications, the actual boot up time, and it's just made it ideal for video and graphics work. The Vector SSD from OCZ Technology is a fantastic device 
outstanding performance and I do urge you to check out their full range. Changing out a physical moving parts hard drive with an SSD is one of the best upgrades you can do to your Mac setup. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one.